Hello boxing fans, I've just got through my second viewing of Gregor's Prosker versus Gennady Golovkin and I've got to say that was a really good fight, you know, um, Prosker, he did show a lot of heart, he showed a lot of skill actually, you know, he did look decent when he was actually doing what he was doing, the only thing was his opponent was that next level, you know, Golovkin, he's very slick, he, he can move, his defence is a bit open but I think that's going to be one of the things that is going to pull in opponents for him. His opponents will say, I can take advantage of that. But what they won't realise is how hard he actually hits until they're getting hit by him themselves. Like I said, his power was explosive, to say the least. This guy's like David Hay, except he is in the um, middleweight division. I think that's a pretty sound adjustment, really. He's, a, he's one of the top three, maybe four, pound-for-pound -pound punchers in the world. Um, going for a round for round, you know, the first round, it was a good round by Golovkin. He landed well, he switched well from head to body. He hit his opponent, but it wasn't a knockdown, let's be really okay. You know, I, I had good money on um, Golovkin to win this fight by knockout, but that first knockdown was a slip. You know, he landed a good punch or a good two punches, and then afterwards, nothing really happened from the punches. It was like two or three seconds later, he slipped down and it really should have been a slip, but this was Golovkin's coming out party. If you're going to go down, be real, the referee is going to give it to him. And he survived that round anyway. He did well in that round, maybe Prosca, but he didn't deserve to win that round. Round two and three, he got through those as well. He was doing decently. He's got good movement. He keeps his hands low, but he had to pull them up in that time because of just how powerful Golovkin was. I would say that Golovkin is, like I said before, one of the top, maybe three pound for pound punches in the world right now. Other than that, you know, round four, how did Prosca get through round four? I really don't know. When he was dropped, that was a big stop. That was a big drop, sorry. Um, the double left hook to the body was big. You know, that was something that really hit Prosca. He had no, he was doubled over. He was like 90 degree angle. He couldn't really deal with that power. He didn't want to get hit in the head with it, but he didn't want to get hit in the body with it either. You know, that accuracy was something different. Golovkin was, he was he was really like, you know, a top level boxer. Right now we're talking about an, an A-class boxer. Other than that, you know, he survived the round. He held well, Prosca did. He showed heart. He even tried to, you know, keep attacking so the referee wouldn't call it on him. And, you know, the only problem was, even if he did connect, he didn't have enough power or the chin of Golovkin was just too good. Like I said, the chin aspect would be decent, you know, in getting Golovkin matches because people will say, oh, I can beat him, I can take advantage of, you know, his leaky defence because it is a bit leaky, but the reason is because he thinks his chin can take it and when he allows them to attack him, say they attack him and they land a few punches, they can be open for that counter right then and they've got to get right back out. It's going to take a real good boxer to beat Golovkin because if they take that power, they're going to feel that power and I don't think many middleweights can take it, you know. Golovkin couldn't, sorry, Golovkin is him. Uh, Prosca couldn't, um, and he was he's never been down before, amateur or pro, before that fight, and he was dropped three times in the fight, so, I don't know, you know, maybe I'd like to see him fa face uh, Chavez, that'd be a good fight, because Chavez blows up in weight, Martinez would be a good fight for him too, maybe Felix Stern would be a good fight for Golovkin, even though he's already lost, just because of the following, the Eastern European following they could bring to the match, make a lot of money that fight, I reckon. Um, Gil, I don't think he'll take the fight because I don't see why he would risk it all. Again, he would, he would take a few easy fights beforehand. But if if Annie would lose, uh, Gil, he's not, he's not the real deal. I, I really do wonder what my um, subscribers do say sometimes. And on my um, Sturm versus Gil post fight, a lot of people are saying, you know, it could have went either way. You're right about that. But they gave it to Gil. So I understand I could possibly be wrong when I said I thought that Sturm did enough to take it, even though they also I did agree. That it could have went either way, so you know I just think that Gil he's not he's not the real deal in the in the middleweight division. I don't think he'll beat Martinez or you know I don't think he'll beat Chavez either. To be honest, I think he's number four in the division right now. Other than that, where will Prosca go from here? You know I would like to see Prosca go back to the European level. He could probably take on um, Kerry Hope again maybe, and then from there he can go back up and try and face other people. Pirol will probably want to fight someone. That'll be a decent fight. Um, whoever else is fighting for the WBO title, it's uh, Kid Chocolate and Indian Takin or whatever his name is, you know, some Cameroonian from um, France, he's fighting for the title 
Them two are fighting against against Chuck for it. Basically, that's going to be the you know the the paper title basically. So I don't think either of them will face him because just how good he is, and neither of them would get near him in in terms of winning the fight. Uh, I don't know. Who would you like to see Golovkin fight? Um, who would you like to see Prasca fight? What do you think about this fight? Tell me what you think.